Grenfell Tower still covered up. A constant reminder of the devastating fire that happened here five years ago. Just a few miles up the road, a service at Westminster Abbey to remember those who died. To the world, the night of the 14th was a tragedy that happened on that night and into the early morning. A night that will remain in history as the biggest loss of 72 lives from the household fire. But for the next of kin, the bereaved, survivors and the community, it's a night that we're forced to live and relive every single day. Outside, Nabil and his brother Hisham. They lost six members of their family in the fire and say they're always in their thoughts. There is never a moment or even a time where we don't think about them and remember them. You know, I, I even, until now, still pick up the phone and dial their numbers, you know, and I just forget, you know. It just, it just happens. Sometimes there needs to be a sacrifice in order for there to be um, change. Um, sadly, our loved ones were the cost of that sacrifice. And their grief and anger is shared by so many. 72 people were killed at Grenfell after a fire broke out in a flat in the early hours of the morning, which ignited the cladding on the outside and tore through the building at speed. But for those who lost loved ones, it's been a hard five years. A public inquiry is still ongoing. No one's yet been held accountable, and so far, no one's been prosecuted. The world witnessed them losing their lives in the most horrific and public way. And it's incredibly frustrating that not only we've had no accountability, we've had no arrests, but with everything that's come out through the public inquiry, with all of the new information that we've learned, it, it, it makes you sick, it makes you angry, it makes you incredibly frustrated, it makes you lose complete faith in this broken system that we have. This afternoon, the community came together again, the first time since COVID at a multi-faith vigil at the foot of the tower. As we mark the fifth anniversary of the Grenfell Tower fire, families are still waiting for answers. But while they wait, they'll also remember those they lost that night. Catherine Nash, Five News.